doing a video. I'm down Burnbeck Pier and this is video two. The tide is going out, otherwise I wouldn't be doing this trail. But basically, I was uh, up there last week looking at the poor cafe that's deteriorating. Fisherman said to come down, but there was nobody there when I came down and the tide was still in, so I decided to come down here instead. But it will be noisy, everyone. It will be noisy. And anyone seeing me down here will know that the tide's going out. They will know it's going out. See? I couldn't see no fishermen when I was 12 o'clock they said turn up at the light boat place. I did and there was nobody there. <sighs> that was the shop I turned up at. Maybe they meant the lifeboat um, where they keep the lifeboats. I didn't go there. <sighs> Here's the tide. Let's hope it doesn't decide to turn the other way. That would be freaky, wouldn't it? If it suddenly decided to turn. Right, well, I'm 64 years old. I've lived in Weston for quite a while. Worked at the hospital. Um, so I know this place. I'm a Somerset girl doing Somerset stuff. Now I'm retired, I can explore. And um, that's what I'm doing. So I. It took me a while to build up the knowledge of that if this track even was even here. So. Let alone to know that um, it can take you out to the pier. It's a nice day. So that's what I'm doing everyone. I'm going out. I came down from over there somewhere. So it still looks like it's coming in, doesn't it? I'm doing this for history and posterity. Because um, part of the pier there, that end bit sticking out, they're going to pull it down apparently. They're going to pull it down and it's history. They could repair it. They repaired the other pier. They're going to pull it down. And then they'll, then what they'll do, they'll probably pull that one down as well. <sighs> they'll probably pull that one down as well. Some beautiful different coloured stones I keep finding. I've taken a few. So look at that one. That's quite a nice one, isn't it? It'd make a nice paperweight, that would. Nice flat bottom, look. What I'll do, I'll, I'll leave that one there. And I'm, if I remember, I'll pick it up on the way back. I've got hours before the, the tide is going out. It's got to go all the way out to Steep Home. So, um, I've done it at the right time actually, as it turns the tide, as it's going out. Look out for bombs. You never know what you're going to find out here, do you? You can see the, um, these things forming as we get further out, these little limpet things, look. These little shells. See, and that's like um, a nice bit of a... Uh, that's a, that, that is a fossil. That's a fossil, that is. I'll keep that one. I'm keeping some, I'm putting them in my pocket. Yeah, I can't see no... Well, there's somebody down on the beach there. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're funny little, it's like, it's like concrete, it's living though. I've got it in my pocket now. I don't know if anyone's videoed this before. I suspect so. People got them things that go in the air. With cameras on them now, and drones. A little bit of pottery, look. I keep that. <laughs> I'm terrible, you know, for keeping stuff. Right, let's go over this side a bit more. There's an old brick there, look. Yeah, that's an old brick, that is. Is there anyone else coming? No, can't see no one else. We're okay. It's quite wide out here, actually. I, I got a feeling they can bring over like a big tractor thing over this if they wanted to. I'm going to go over this side. I'm going to go over this side and have a look. Like that. So that could be something like a fossil as well, couldn't it? Put that on there. I might pick that up on the way back. Yeah, there's somebody over there. I can see some fishermen now. The thing is with them, they're um they're over there. I'm going to turn off for a minute and take some photographs of, as I go, everyone. Over and out.